Mic check one, two, one, two. Bravo six going dark. Duck hunting has always been about the experience for me. Uh, one hunt requires a lot of hours and preparation. Whenever we first started out, we just hunted public ground, which you still have to have a lot of hours and preparation on a hunt for public ground, but it's different hours compared to uh, you private land hunting. We spend a lot of time every year flooding fields and building blinds and watching birds and doing stuff like that. It, it starts, it really never ends from the time we put the boards in the fields to the time we pull them and on some years we were able to plant duck food in some of the fields for them and every year we usually leave a little bit whenever we're combining. Ready for action. This is our latest and greatest innovation here on the farm. A little something we put together called the Mallard Motel, Jimbo Fields. Gave me the idea for the name. He's a great guy. Never met him. Seems like a great guy. We still got to put doors on it, but what'll happen, you'll sit down in here, and then you'll raise up and shoot the birds whenever I call the shot accordingly. This is, Dad helped us build this, build this a couple of days ago. We call it the Mallard Motel, 16 foot blind. It's not much, but it's honest work. True. Uh, yeah, it's just plain simple. Uh, I want right to go that. We're going to build another one of these on that rice field we just showed you over there. Probably only hunt this blind on a good cold front. Bunch of ducks pushing in or a big warm up. Bunch of ducks coming back. It's uh, You got to know when to hunt them. That's the big thing. Sam, go plank in it. You know what a plank is? Get in what? You know what a plank is? What do I do in it? Bro, you do this. No, you what plank. am I going to do in here? You plank, bro. Or how they... No, that's not how do it. We came up with the name Floodway Outfitters because there was... Where we live and where we hunt is very, very prone to flooding in certain areas. Um... Whenever it floods in the winter time, usually the duck hunting is very good. We spend countless hours working on it. I mean, you're always busy doing something. It's about like farming, and then you get to see the output whenever you go out there. It's you get to see God's creation. You get to see all the birds. You get to see the sunset or sunrise every morning, and it's just, you learn something new every time. Cool. We've had a slow duck season uh, ever since we opened. The birds haven't, we haven't had a good push of birds in our area. There's some people south of us that have done really good, and there's some people north of us that have done really good, but we haven't, well, we haven't killed 30 or 40, 50 ducks this year. It's been slow. ducks in our area even the ducks that we had in our area they weren't uh they would just sit on one field all day they didn't have any drive to uh feed a little picture silo tell silo to heal by you silo heal. tap on your shoulder come here, come here. heal heal see it heal come here silo, over there over heal. there heal stay stay Dude, that is a beautiful bird. That's a stud. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> My bird. That is a beautifulest. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Get in mine. Get in mine. 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 Come on. Call him in there, Luke. Come here. Come here. Get in here. How we how we treat it is we don't hunt unless we know it's going to be, you know, we don't just go out there every day of the week and kill what comes in. You can't do that and successfully do it. And, you know, you educate birds so quick when you do something like that. You have to utilize weather days and only hunt when the conditions are right. And you have to think on it a lot on where you're going to hunt and how the birds are acting. And that that's a big part of it for us. You can't you can't over hunt, you can't educate, you can't sit out there for three hours and mess around. You, you gotta you gotta get in there, kill your birds, get out, let them rest. Oh, 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 look at them birds. You got that rolling? You see them ducks? Look at that. You see that, Sam? You see them three? They just almost landed right here. They're getting ready to land right there. I see them. It's gonna be greasy, more or less. Uh, this is one of our fields. We call this one Asher East. We've uh, used it as a refuge for the past couple of years, but this is going to be one of our hunting fields this year, and we're going to move refuge onto another field. And what is a refuge? A refuge, it's not really a refuge, but it's just a field that we leave alone, leave some food in, and we don't hunt it. It gives them a safe place to be. Uh, and we let most of these fields rest throughout the week. And we don't, we don't hunt out here a whole lot, but whenever we do, we make sure it's the right time. We get in here and we get out. And it's it's been a lot of fun, but I think this is going to be one of our better fields this year, really. I think it'll be. So we're going to go on down. There's probably four, five, six hundred ducks sitting on this soybean field right here. We'll go we'll go give it a gander. Let's go. Long term, I'd like to see us guiding work out. Uh, right now. We've worked alongside a group out of Reno called Leg Iron Outfitters, and they've uh, taught me a lot on what to do. And they're really great people to go hunting with, but they're even better people to learn something from. Every time I go down there and talk to them or go hunting with them, they, they teach me something new every time. Uh, I've appreciated getting the opportunity to work alongside them the times I have, and we'd like to continue to work alongside them. Feet up here, no. Feet up here. Feet up here. Big old baby. Just a big old baby. Let's go. Two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Yeah, we need to put the floor down or something. We need to work on that. Got some rice stove we'll put on the sides. We'll do the rest with the oak limbs. We'll call it good. We just haven't found time. Oh, I know y'all didn't hear that. Moving on, keeping strong and finding God. Find it off the yard, we made it here. A few good friends on the longest night. Getting high until we cry Enjoying all the pain of young years Enjoying all the pain of young years That person has really got him or herself in a quite the predicament Okay Are we done? Is that all? That's all, that's good I want to make a podcast you do not. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Have you ever heard of Monday beers? You can't even drink beer. Yeah, but no, it's it's like 